came in around two. Time the units rolled in, the flames are wall to wall. And it's a lock for arson? Found a gasoline can, a box of matches. Two witnesses saw somebody drive away just before the bonfire. Gave us a description. Louis Johnson, medium rare. Smoke stains in his nose and mouth. He was alive before the fire started. Jones killed him. Couldn't run out? The door was locked me inside. Our guess is he was spending the night. Didn't want any visitors. Did Johnson uh, ever have any trouble before this? Some vandalism last week, before he got his trees. What was it, kids? Nah, the local crew, muscling the businesses for protection. Nobody, and that includes Johnson, wanted to talk about it. And look where it got him. We're gonna need the names of that crew, all right? Two pair of eyes put you in the lot. I was buying my Christmas tree. At 2.04 a.m.? No, you're cooked, Danny. We got your prints on the box of matches. I hate to break it to you, but you're the stupidest torch I ever met. Now's your one chance to do something smart. I swear, I didn't know Louis was in the shed when the fire broke out. Bad break, his wife tossing him out of the house that night. The job was about reducing the value of Louis's inventory, that's all. I can serve up the guy that paid me. We know him, he's being worked on next door. No, we're shopping for the CEO. Yeah, but I just know the one guy. I'm not part of the crew. Yeah, it's too bad, because you're gonna take the weight for all of them, Danny. All right, the Schwartz Deli job last year? I can give you who was behind that. Too late. Somebody already beat you to it. Right, wait, wait. I got something big. I know the guy that really did that Cookie Costello stabbing. You know the one. Big mother case 30 years ago. Girl got stabbed by the whole neighborhood watched. Yeah, Sal Munoz. He's been in Attica for the last 30 years. Yeah, that's what you think. I want somebody from the DAs in here. They need a reason to move, Danny. Hey, well, tell them this. This guy, I'll call him Bobby. Me and him were having a few pops one night. He tells me how he stuck the girl with the knife so she could never have kids. Hey, you see? I got something. Next time I talk, it's to the DA. My first partner in uniform was on that Costello canvas. They kept the details of her injuries out of the papers, uh, too personal. I remember reading something about that. Yeah, a young woman stabbed 14 times and raped outside her building in the East Village. Yeah, while 40 of her neighbors turned up their TVs so they couldn't hear the screams. So what, they had TVs but no phones? Oh, they called the police, all right, about 45 minutes later. Should have heard the excuses. Everybody assumed somebody else called it in. So if Danny's on the money, then the wrong guy's been in jail for the past 30 years. And Mr. Wright's been on the street. 30 years ago, I sat in her hospital room and held her hand. But you prosecuted Sal Munoz? Miss Costello sent me Christmas cards every year since. This fire bug. He gave you a name. Bobby Farina, career deadbeat. In and out of state facilities since he was six. And somewhere along the way, he must have picked up a crystal ball. Van Buren says the police never released the specifics of Costello's injuries. Munoz confessed. After how many rounds with New York's finest? Cookie Costello couldn't ID him, Adam. We should at least talk to her. Absolutely not. Building full of her friends and neighbors. Watched. She was stabbed and raped. Left for dead in an alley. Thirty years isn't time enough for wounds like that to heal. Munoz is serving consecutive 25-year terms. We can't ignore this. Have the cops find this uh, Farina character. Damn. Today's my birthday. Yeah, half a century. I'm pushing carcasses for a living. Yeah, I know just how you feel, Bobby. Half a century and I'm still talking to scum like you. I'm more straightened out now. Oh, yeah, we heard from your P.O. how you got four years for straightening out your girlfriend. <laughs> I'm a gridiron legend, you know? We can't all beat the rap. And what about Cookie Costello? You straighten her out, too? Don't ring no bells. A bitch with a name like that, I remember. What, you don't read the papers? She was carved up in May, 1965, three blocks from when you parked your sorry ass. I was doing a stretch at Banner Moore in 65. For assaulting a hooker, we heard. You went in in September, try again. Uh, May 65, uh, I could have been in Jersey. I did a lot of work there, you know, collected for the bookies. Hey, the only ones who knew the particulars are the victim, her doctors, and the piece of crap who did it, and that's you. 
All right, look. I got it from this lawyer, Nick Paradash, all right? He got me on a couple of beefs. The guy lays all these gems on me about this Costello thing. I swear to God. 